Washington. Uh, did his graduate work in Oregon and was for a while at Temple University uh, with Bill Cosby, I guess. <laughs> and uh, he is also has the largest scientific blog on the internet. He has over 100,000 hits per day on his blog. So with that, I'd like to welcome Dr. Myers.
home and I'm on the lecture circuit a lot, probably much crazier than evolution. And I've noticed that all of my colleagues have always shown this slide. So I'm just I'm just following my friends here. We've actually this slide. Uh, what this is an illustration of people, the likelihood of, of people believing in evolution per, per country. So the blue bars are the good ones. If you've got a great big long bar there, that means the larger number of the people of your country accept evolutionary theory. <coughs> the yellow bar is those who are uncertain. And I actually think that's okay. I, I would rather that people would say, well, I don't know if they don't know the evidence one way or the other, than if they charge off in one direction or the other uh, without having a factor there. And the red bar is the, is, is the nasty one. That's, those are the people who actively deny evolutionary theory. And you can see there at the top, that's Iceland. Iceland looks like a very nice place to live. <laughs> it's one of the most literate countries in the world. Really high literacy rate. Higher than people going to college and getting educated. And concomitant with that, we are finding that we find lots and lots of people who are willing to accept evolution. Because they've heard this, this story. They've heard the fact. Uh, unfortunately, in the United States, you have to go plummeting down to the bottom. Uh, we are 33rd out of 34. That's pretty bad. The only consolation we have here is we beat Turkey. Turkey, a Muslim country, which is one of the most active creationist movements in the world. So we've had a little better performance than, than Turkey. And I think those of us who are good patriots would like to see the United States climb this list a little bit. Wouldn't you love to be able to say we're number one, we're number one? It's much, it sounds much nicer than we're number 33, we're number 33. Okay, so we've got this problem with creationism, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about what kinds of creationism there are out there. If we go to the next slide, I think it's the next slide, yeah. i got to qualify it a little bit. Creationism is not one thing. There are, are a lot of different versions of creationism out there. Uh, one that has been in the news a fair amount in the last few years is intelligent design creationism which is promoted by a little think tank in Seattle called the Discovery Institute. Here's our website, if you want to go look them up, find out what they have to say. And then, they, they're, they're kind of a strange group. They don't have anything specific that they say. They just don't like evolution. And so they argue a lot about whether evolution is true or not, but they will not come out and say what they think. Whereas one, there's a very amusing uh, series of instances in Kansas a few years ago, where they were interviewing a group of people from the Discovery Institute, and the lawyer was very annoying and very persistent because he kept asking the simple question, how old is the earth? Now to a scientist, that's an easy question to answer. The earth is about four and a half billion years old. We have tons of evidence that explain this. To a young creationist, let's look down here, the answer is also fairly simple. It's about 10,000 years old. Uh, to the older creationists, they will willingly say that the Earth is, is 4.5 million years old, although some walk with it and say, well, maybe it's a few million years old, or whatever. Uh, the people from the Discovery Institute were amusing because they refused to say what the answer was. And that's a problem. They are in such denial about the evidence that they won't even acknowledge which way the evidence is that blowing up. Okay, the older of creations, uh, one of the most prominent organizations for this is, is Reasons to Believe, uh, they believe that the Earth is old, and what they will often do is they'll explain it as saying, uh, have you heard of the day-age theory? Some of you may have. Uh, their, their explanation is, well, when God is saying those seven days, those six days of creation, the Bible, the seventh day he's rested, there's no reason to think that those are 24-hour days, and so they, they are infinitely elastic, 